What's up guys, this video we're gonna show you how to spot a brat. And we're gonna do this by breaking down some real life date videos and you're gonna see how brats interact when they're talking to guys. And this is really gonna show you that brats will demolish 99% of men, but after you're done with this video, you will have all the tools to be part of the 1%. Alright, so first off, what exactly is a brat? A brat is a very unique type of girl, but there is a lot of them out there who really tries to shit test pretty much every guy she interacts with. And her goal is to weed out the betas from the alphas, right? So she will relentlessly test men, and if she puts you in the beta category, then she'll be rude, arrogant, and just fucking mock you to your face. However, if she puts you in the alpha category, she'll be extremely sweet and submissive. The problem is that 99.9% .9 of men are gonna be put in the beta category. It doesn't mean you're actually beta, it just means that you don't live up to her uh, insane alpha, you know, let's just say category, right? And in order to be in the alpha category, you have to be extremely non-reactive, confident, sure of yourself, and be able to call out her behavior, right? And very, very few guys are able to do this. So we're gonna show you some videos of basically uh, several brats that we've had on for our uh, virtual dates, right? And you're gonna see how they will just annihilate these guys. So let's start off with the first one. This is a guy, Boris, and he actually has pretty decent game, right? You know, I would say, I wouldn't put him in the beta category, but he's not a true alpha. And brats are really, really good at weeding out the guys who are not true alphas. Uh, time in the sun paddle boarding. No one's mentioned that I look so slutty. Come on. <laughs> no. Okay. This is one important thing about brats. They love attention, right? They're constantly seeking attention. So when you see a girl doing that, that probably gives you some clues that she might be a brat. Fine. I, I didn't want. I didn't want to be like disrespectful right, right from the start. But yeah, you look like you you made up a lot and you really prepared for this. So I'm I'm kind of flattered. You know. Thank you. <laughs> Where are you guys from, by the way? You 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 both you all like Americans. We all are ready yeah. to answer that question. So you can see what's going on here. Now you might think she's being rude in some way she is, right? But that's because she thinks Boris is not a true alpha and they will treat betas or whatever non-true alphas very differently than the way they treat true alphas. Whenever I talk to Ashley, she's, she's extremely sweet and kind to me, right? But I think that's just because mentally she has categorized me as a true alpha. Where are you from, Boris? Uh, I was leaning back, you know, waiting, uh, listening to you guys anyway. You, you you just like listening to us? Yeah, you know I'm, I can be a great listener. I have I have a lot of. Uh... You can see the brats are very challenging. They will challenge you over and over again, and at some point. When you pass enough of their challenges, the challenges will stop. They might come back once in a while because again, she has decided that you're finally a true alpha. Uh, empathy. But are you sure you're a good listener? Yeah. I was leaning by, you know, friend, uh, English not my I'm first language. Starting to really think you might not be this round. <laughs> anyway, Sarah, I, I think you. that this might not be for you, <laughs> What do you mean? Here's a direct challenge, right? She's like, this might not be for you. Let's see if he passes or fails. <laughs> what do you think I mean? What might not be for me? You? Well, definitely me, but, but three. What so what's happening here, and again, Boris has decent game. Like, he's not a beta guy, right? He just doesn't quite live up to the true alpha category. So now he's being a little unsure of himself, right? You can see the uncertainty. He's like, what, for you, right? And you have to be 100% confident and certain when you're interacting with brats. Maybe, maybe you just can't handle three. Maybe you need to I go mean, back to two. Maybe two would have been better. You should have been like, no. maybe one. Yeah, I mean, you got me. I'm a, I'm a virgin. All right, so that's one. And uh, it kind of, there's some bullshit in there, so we're going to skip to the next clip. Thank, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Boris, I'm bored. Boring Boris. That's what <laughs> right, so this is another example. So this is her testing him, all right? Boring Boris, right? Uh, so the way I would have responded to that would be like, yes, anal Ashley. Right, and you have to have that intensity and confidence, right? You can't backtrack. What's that, Ashley? Nothing. You didn't hear me? Anything. Uh, no, can I come again? I would love to. Uh, but I, I said uh, boring Boris. Yeah, you know, we can't, we can't get along with that. You can see the certainty wavering. He's like, yeah, you know, we can't all get along. Again, the way to pass that would be like, yes, anal Ashley, or yes, fucking, I don't know, like spanker ass Ashley, whatever, something like that. Uh, with everyone, that's fine, you know. I don't think you can get along with anyone. Yeah, I told you I, I'm a virgin. 
So you can see that she's stepping up basically the assertiveness and aggressiveness because she spots weakness. And when a brat spots weakness, she's just gonna be like a fucking shark in a uh, you know pool of fish or like when there's blood in the water. They're just gonna go on and on and on, right? Which is again, why when you're dealing with brats, you have to be very certain. Let's take a look at an example of another brat we had on the podcast. Hey, so let's start with the red flags. Oh, for sure. You wanna know mine? Mm, yeah, I guess. I have no other choice, so let's do it. Notice how her level of enthusiasm is pretty moderate at first, right? She's not like being super turned off, right? She's giving a little bit of a shot, but watch what happens next. Oh, well, what are your red flags? Bold enough of you to assume that I have red flags. I mean, I feel like everybody has a little bit of red flags in them, but... True. I mean, I'm colorblind, so, you know, red flags don't apply. Uh, first red flag, I would say you own a beauty salon, right? I do. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of drawn to girls as the beauty Now look, most girls would have at least a playful, awkward laugh at that joke. It wasn't the best joke ever, right? But he clearly wasn't trying to be offensive. However, she spots the weakness and uncertainty in his voice when he's like, ooh, and now she's fucking out for blood. Beauty salon, but that's like a major red flag. <laughs> I'm kidding. You make up for it in the tattoos, though. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I would say, so you want to know my biggest red flag? I mean, I guess so. You have no other choice. Now, notice how much her enthusiasm has, has dropped off in like literally like 30 seconds. Now, I think the big mistake that uh, Greg is making is that he's being overly gamey, right? It's that RSD style, which can actually be okay for certain types of girls. For more shy, innocent girls, being a little over the top and over gamey can be fun. For brats, it's literally a death sentence. You cannot be overly gamey or make it seem like you're using lies or you're trying to put on an act. That is literally going to be a death sentence. Voice, right? You're forced against your own will. Uh, it's probably a green flag as well, but it's my OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah, you should subscribe. Definitely not. Perfect. Now, this is the thing about brats. They're not going to play along if they think you're a beta, right? They're, like most girls would be like, uh, I don't know about that, right? But they're just like super direct and assertive. They're like, no. No, right, again, in these 45 seconds, she has already uh, put him, uh, at first he was undecided, she has already put him in the beta category. And again, I'm not saying this guy's beta, I actually know him pretty well, he's a cool guy, right? But again, for a brat, unless you, uh, you meet this very high, let's just say threshold for being a true alpha, everyone else is beta. <laughs> I think you are an entire red flag. I know, I'm the worst. You're a walking red flag. I am, what gave it away? Your aura, your vibe, you're, you're doing too My much. My aura? Ooh. Can you predict my future? I'd rather not. Perfect. So we can hate each other after whatever three minutes is up. Oh, I don't hate anybody, but... You sure about that? You just seem very not self-aware. Oh, I'm, I'm the last person when it comes to self-awareness. I can tell. Could you teach me a thing or two? So one thing that he's doing semi-okay is he's not taking it personally. So the minute you get reactive with a brat, where you're like, why did you say that? You're done, right? You can never get reactive. However, what he's not doing is he's a little too passive, right? He's being a little too self-deprecating. The right approach in a situation like that is to actually challenge her back. I'd be like, why do you say that, right? You want to be more, I don't know, let's just say assertive and more just flipping the script back on her and kind of calling out her behavior. Be like, why are you acting like a little fucking brat, right? Like you want to actually call that shit out. That's the only way to get out of a situation like this. Absolutely not. I really never want to see you again. Perfect. I guess, you know, it takes two to tango. Yeah. Interesting choice of drink, I would say. Guess what it is. I don't want to guess. It looks like piss in a cup. No I'm kidding. <laughs> Honestly, mm, probably wine. No. Okay, so no traditional white girl drinks. Gotcha. Oh my god, I'm so uncomfortable. I'm, I'm here. So yeah, this is a good example of over gaminess. You do not want to be overly gamey with a brat. Now let's take a look at one last clip and you can see what happens when I actually interact with this girl. On. Bam, just us two. What up, Hattie? The day, the, the hour we've been waiting for is finally here. So I have a little, I have a little observation. Yeah. You're a brat. 
I'm not a brat. I just, you know, I can't fake it. <laughs> I notice how much more like sweet and feminine she is. I think at this point she's already put me in the true alpha category and I, I agree I have an unfair advantage because I'm the host and I have already been like kind of talking for an hour and a half, but I think she has already made that determination, right? So she's not really valuing me anymore. However, it doesn't mean I'm permanently stuck in that category. If I say something that's beta, I can easily fall out of that category. No, but I, I think you're very much a brat, like meaning like you like to kind of test guys a little bit and you're looking for like a true alpha guy. Well, and there was none. Actually, who is who is that? Uh, uh, but Buddha the Builder. <laughs> Prince Bell, yeah. He was cool. He was cool. Um, yeah, you know, I think that that's just part of me. I mean, I love dry humor, sarcasm, kind of like to fuck with people. But if somebody were to put me in my place, then I would sit yeah. the fuck down. But nobody put me. See, in that's exactly what it is. A brat wants a dominant guy to put her in her place, and then she will sit down and be a whole different person. But if no guy is able to do that, she will continue to become more and more aggressive, more and more assertive, right? And basically mock the guy to his face. My place. Well, that, that's exactly what a Brad would say, is <laughs> I, need, I need a cool, confident, alpha dominant man to put me in my place. That's it. Yeah. Am I the first person to identify this? You are. I mean, nobody, I promise you, you were just here. Nobody else spoke on that. So, or, you know, even nobody felt the energy either. They just kept saying, oh, like, I don't know. Nobody felt the energy. So, no, I, I, yeah, the brats, like you're saying, have this energy, right? It's this, I'm going to shit test the fuck out of every guy. And if you want to see the rest of this, our virtual date, you can see it uh, in the initial live stream. This goes for another two or three minutes. But this is the point I wanted to make, right? With brats, if you call out what they're doing, you're like, you're a fucking brat. That is a massive fucking turn off for them. It's like, oh yeah. Like they literally get off on guys putting them in their place. Now me personally, I typically don't go for brats when it comes to like dating or something like that because I find them a little bit of a headache. However, I have hooked up with a lot of brats and it's always the same fucking story. They will always start off by just coming a little confrontational and shit testing the fuck out of you. But as soon as they determine your true alpha, they will come super sweet, super submissive, and can be literally even sweeter than any other type of girl. You just have to be able to be the guy that can tame the brat. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and you can start practicing taming brats by taming that like button, taming the subscribe button, and hitting that bell for notification. Let us know in the comments what you think about brats and whether they're the type of girl that you wanna go for. Thank you guys for watching, until next time.